Here we go. The team is currently 14th in the league with 33 wins. And we are in the playoffs at the moment. We're on the brink, but the trade deadline was wild. Our GM finally did something. Thank you. I don't even know what season we're in. Is it like five, six, maybe? But anyway, no matter what season we're in, I have yet to see a GM that we play for do this. So let's see what the new and hopefully improved Columbus Blue Jackets look like. View lines, and here we go. Johnny Goudreau playing with Kent Johnson and Oliver Bjorkstrand. So Bjorkstrand is a new addition to the team. We also have Sagan playing with Michelli and Marchenko. So that second line has leveled up drastically. Our third line is Texier Kempe and Batherson. And our fourth line is also solid, so... I don't know what to tell you, but we look a lot better. But it doesn't stop there. Defensively, we have Slavin playing with David, and our whole core just got way better. Before the trade deadline, this was basically the only defenseman we had. Okay, we also had Boakfist, but the other four, brand new. And in the net, yours truly, Scott Sterling. I think we're going to make the playoffs. Hopefully, we do better, because our team glowed up. But maybe somehow we'll be worse. You never really know. We have a good first opponent here in Tampa. They are 31st in the league. This should be a great warm-up for all these players to kind of get used to each other. So let's turn up the sim speed. Amazing. That's a great way to start, Scott. Get scored on by shot number one. But we get one right back on our second shot of the game. Michelli, his first as a blue jacket. And Tampa scores again. Novak on the 11th shot of the game. I don't... I, I'm just... I give up. Why are we even here? Yeah, sure. Just add to it. Trevor Moore buries one. And now it's a 4-1 hockey game. It's not like our team got better or anything. Not like we have a 92 overall goalie in the net. No, that can't be. Well, I'm simming the whole thing. Get me out of here. 5-1. Wow. You know what? Great job, Columbus. The 26th placed Colorado Avalanche. Again. Should be a win. Light work. But will it be? No. There you go. First shot of the game. What is happening? Honestly, I swear there has to be something in the code of this game that says, if first shot of the game, goal. We're being dumped on. Shots are 20 to nine after the first period and things are looking grim. Okay, yep, there we go. Kapari, thank you, Johnny. He finally decides to show up. Barry's one on Thatcher, brings it back to a one goal game. Can we tie this thing up and at least go into the third with an even game? Come on. Somebody step up. Anybody. Thank you, Kempe. Love to see it. Here we go. Not gonna lie, I kind of expected Colorado to score one more. But they didn't. Actually, that reminds me. I don't know what reminds me, but I just thought of it, actually. <laughs> Is that... People don't really like the goalie mask, apparently. So we gotta change that up. And also, there was something... I guess there was a game update. Obviously, you guys know by now that I record these... A Why?! Does the tethering reset every time? Come on, man. All right, there we go. That's a good start. Glove save. Just gets dropped like a two-foot putt. Konechny rips one, and that will be saved. Landis Cog gets tripped. A bullet of a shot. We are under pressure. Get it out, guys. You don't even have to. Just touch it. Literally just touch it. That's all we have to do. What is happening? We seriously cannot touch the puck. This is the wildest thing I've ever seen. Anyways, as I was trying to say before I was rudely interrupted by that onslaught, there's an update where you can do something with the equipment now, like do custom. I don't know if it's, you know, sort of like per jersey or how that works, but maybe it's just that you can choose... Like, the colors of the team? I don't even really know. I'll have to go check it out. But yeah, the goalie mask is not a fan favorite. So it's got to go. Let's get some offense going. Shorthanded. Why not? We should be able to. I feel like we have solid enough players. Nope. Don't think so. At least the penalty was killed off. So we are back to even strength. And I feel like we are sort of getting a grip here. It's about time. Because the way we started... This third period, it felt like we were going to lose about 82-2. to two. Nice. Our turn. 
to go on the power play. Schmaltz, two minutes for tripping. You can't do that. Let me just check the rule book here. Uh, yeah, can't do that. Great try. I like the walkout by Demko all over it. Should I go? No, I should not. I would not have even been close. Well, that was a waste of a power play, to put it nicely. We got approximately nothing done. Maybe one shot was had. Oh, I guess we had that walkout chance, so that was decent. Yeah, all right. We had one chance. Very solid for a two-minute power play. Ooh, okay. Landis Cog goes for the short side one. Hull down to Mac. Here's the passing play again. I can't tell if he just missed horribly or was going for some kind of tip. You gotta get rid of that. Oh my word. Nathan, how dare you? You really think I'm just that bad? Well, to be fair, it actually, you know, is sort of a trick play. So you can be a good goalie and still get scored on by that. Seven and a half to go. So far, we have not seen any goals in this third period. Is that about to change? Well, if it is about to change, it's not going to be in our net. Is that a one-handed shot? I didn't even know that was... No. No. That was in the net. That was literally in the net. You cannot tell me otherwise. Hold on! So let me get this straight. We pass it out. It goes off of Nathaniel's leg. Am I insane? Is this not in the net? Where are you? I see you. I see you. There's the puck. Yeah, we can all see it. It's right there. Okay, he's doing his best trying to hide it, but you are not fooling me. And that's a good foot over the line. Absolutely disgraceful refing. Nice try. Hey, it was a nice try. Low glove save. Now, thank you. You actually passed it and didn't just try to carry it up, get pinned against the boards and lose it so they can keep it in the zone. Oh, so close. And we just get slow. Okay, it is a penalty. Get me out of here. Skate, hustle. I tried. I really did. Nice shot. Rebound, Johnson. Couldn't quite get there in time. And Demko, whoa. Demko just doesn't care. Five on three time, baby. Here we go. Get there. Yep. We got this. We got this. We are all over him. It's just a matter of time. Our player just gave up. No, 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 no. That is soccer if I've ever seen it, or football, whatever you want to call it. Absolutely not. That's blatant. Get out of here. The flying poke check was successful. And this guy has to cheat to score? You make me sick. That better be no goal, ref. Yeah. Yeah, that's what I thought. Nice keep. And because of that, we might have a chance here. No! Oh my word, Demko robbed us on the doorstep. And that might just earn Colorado at least one point. So close. Yeah, okay. Overtime. Do we still have a man advantage? Is it going to be four on three to start? It is. Well, that was short-lived. Now it's four on four. At least until the next whistle. No. No. You're not scoring. You are not doing it. Sterling's on one, and I don't want to lose to these teams that are down in the standings. Holy! Not much I could have done about that one. Here comes Nate. Man, he's fast. All right. Well, we got a point out of it. You know, we don't deserve to win, though, because we had a five on three and couldn't bury the puck. And we gave up a breakaway? They had 46 shots as well. That is madness. We are still 14th, so we're maintaining our position, which is good in a way because we were in the playoffs last I checked. So we should still be all right. Texier, finally, we benefit from scoring on the first shot of the game. Although, okay, yeah, 
Why'd I say anything? 3-1, Vander Kane scores. Remember, this is a 92 overall goalie in net. Just try to take that into account. 4-1, I'm just simming past this whole thing. What an absolute joke. 5-1 loss. Chicago, they are 10th. Simulate the game. I am awaiting their first shot of the game to go in. If we just never get... Oh, wow, we saved it. I thought they were going to score there, but it was us. Finally. I shouldn't even say that because they're going to come and get like eight. And Estroza buries the tying goal. It is 1-1. Shots are pretty much even as well. Power play goal. Korchinski buries one. We have a power play. It gets killed off, as you do. Nice. Michelli again ties it up. Will we have a tie game going into the third? Looks like we're going to. Yes. All right. Let's get it done. Here we go, Jackets. I forgot to change the helmet again. Bedsy gets a chance right off the hop here. Is this how it's going to start again? We're going to just be getting completely dominated for the first three to four minutes. Let's go, Kent. Nice move, kind of. It almost worked. Instead, it was more just like a pass to Swayman. I do like that hit as well. Big fan of that. The physicality is starting to come out. And I appreciate it. Not looking forward to killing a penalty, though. Maybe we won't have to. No, we do. We do. I also remember someone commenting about adding this to the repertoire. I feel like this doesn't really work. Maybe it will, though. I could try to. Very situational. But, you know, in the right time, right place... Could be a cool save. Oh, as if. Get deleted 1-4. It's been sort of a neutral zone battle for the last couple minutes here. But we finally get in their zone. Swayman's going to cover it. All right. Draw in Chicago's end. Let's win it back and send it home. Another shot from Bedsy. Okay. Had to bail myself out there. That one... Okay. Alright. Well, you know what, though? How do I save the other one and then this goes in? That is on me. I should not have passed that out, clearly. No, I don't like when they have it behind the net. Do not like it. And Darlene has it at the point. Goes for another shot. But Bjorkstrand gets in the way of it. Doesn't trust me. I don't blame him. Nice pass as well. Ooh, okay. I like it. We're not going down without a fight. Huh. <laughs> Danielson's coming in. Our player decides, you know what? I was already headed to the bench. I'm going to change anyway and just let him go. If we end up missing the playoffs, I might cry. There's a very real chance. Saved on the pass. I'm still going to pass it out because I don't learn my lessons and I don't want whistles. Reichel goes cross ice. Oh, okay. Kick it aside. Another chance. But we had like three people in the way of that one. Nice try, Johnny. Keep up the pressure, boys. Keep it up. I like what I'm seeing. Nice. Back to Marchenko. Okay. Oh, tries to send it home, but Dolan's all over it. Dolan. Dolan? Why do I forget how his name's pronounced? No! No! Blocker save. 15 seconds left. That was probably our last opportunity. And the puck meets Irene. Are you going to get me out of here or no? Doesn't look like it. All right. Well, another L. Not looking good at all. We are now 15th in the league. And we're going up against Arizona. Assuming the team we got Michelli from. But it's be a pro. You never know. They could have already moved him and then came from another team over to us. It's a mystery. You know what? We're going to go over to the calendar here. And we're going to sim up till... Hmm. Till when? Maybe this Carolina game. Or the Islanders one, actually. So let's hopefully get some wins here. Nice. 5-2 win over the Yotes. Nice. Beautiful. All right. So for some reason, this simulation treating us way better. Coach DeKaiser wants to have a word. What's up, coach? Beach ball? Oh, no. We've been hot. Yeah, we sure have. All right. Let's go with the, the neutral answer. That's it? I'm off the hook? No promises? Oh, we did lose to LA, 6-3. But we currently have 38 wins. How many games do we have left? 10 games remaining. The Islanders 
are first in the division and the Hurricanes are last. So let's sim this game real time. We're not even in. Wow. Okay. They are starting Joel. Simulate. And we lost. And we're not in for this game either. Can we at least beat the last place team in the division? Yes, we can. We're not in for this one either. What is going on? Have we gotten benched? I think we're riding pine here, Scott. We're still wild carding, but it's probably going to be really close. So the only divisional game we have left is New Jersey and they are second. So let's sim up to this game and there's another loss. There's a win. Thank you. We needed that and another big win. All right. So we are still wild carding. We need wins here. Absolutely. In fact, let's just win out, please. Can we do that? Fifth in the entire league, 46 wins, New Jersey. And our playoff hopes are on the line here. We have to score on power plays. Guys, get it through your thick skulls that if we lose these next few games, we're probably out. Thank you. Johnny was listening and was motivated by my speech. Second period is underway. It is still 1-0 Columbus. We are out shooting them, but New Jersey's bringing it back and Kurashev buries one on Scotty to make it a 1-1 hockey game. Not good. Not good at all. One more from Columbus. Come on. Let's get one in the second here. Just one. That's all you gotta do. Just get one goal. No, doesn't look like it. All right, tie game going into the third. I almost don't want to, but we must. Oh, I forgot to change my helmet again. Come on, man. I'm sorry, I'm just so focused on us trying to make the playoffs that that is my number one priority. It is consuming my every thought. So hopefully at the end of this video, I will remember to change the bucket. But as for now, she stands. Also would love to know how New Jersey got their hands on Leon Dreisaitl while still having Hamilton and Hughes. Is Leo due for a contract extension? Maybe they just got him off a of free agency. I don't know, could have been draft picks either way. He's already had a close chance in this one. And they're about to get another one. Dougie Hamilton rips a glove side shot. That will be caught by your boy, however. Nice pass. Great defensive play by whoever that was on New Jersey. Because it looked like our player had whoever their goalie is fooled. I was watching the CPU goalie right there. And I kind of just learned something that I feel like I already knew... Michelli, you absolute legend. It's a 2-1 hockey game. So you move a lot faster across if you go butterfly while doing it. So I can use the right slidey thing, or I could just go into butterfly and move faster that way, you know? So I will be doing that. Oh, big hit. Headed to the power play, however. Why do they have a guy with a cage? What's going on here? It's peeper time. Hopefully... We can bury one and get a two goalie. That would be super ideal. But we're not off to a good start. I think he just tried to pull off like the Datsu, which would have been madness. Nice keep. Still got it. Yes! It is a two goalie. No celebration. Just doesn't care. He scores and he's... It's like nothing happened. Boom! Set that cannon off. Imagine being the fans right there. Good luck hearing ever again. Snipe. Just score another one. Really pile on. What a poke check. I still don't know who their goalie is. I didn't really look at that either, but... Yeah, that was an immaculate play. It's not really like we're competing against New Jersey for a playoff spot. I think they already clinched, but... These two points will still be crucial if we can manage to hold them off here. Get back in position... Well, it's one goal lead. Team Omeyer is in. Oh, whoa! I did not like that hit one bit. That seemed a little high, referee. If we scored there, I wouldn't have cared anymore. But uh, now I still do, because we didn't. We still might, though. Lots of pressure going on. Why, Sagan? Why? You could have easily walked out there, but you decided to try going back around the net. Where the guy that you had just beat was still there. Whichever defender, I think it was maybe Slavin, broke up that one-timer attempt, just saved a goal. 100%. Under five minutes to go. The lead of one still remains for Columbus, but New Jersey 
is definitely trying to spoil our playoff hopes. That could have been tipped. It actually might have been. Not fully sure. But we still got a piece of it. All right. Mm, yeah, there's no one over there. Come on. You got all the time in the world. Get it out of our zone. Beautiful. Love that from you guys. Love that pass too. Nice try, Johnny. Good shot attempt. Just keep it in their zone. Move it around. Not exactly what I had in mind. I like it. It was a good save. Still don't know who their goalie is. 30 seconds left. Come on, not like this. I would say that's discipline, but I tried to pass it out to the left. No. Yes! Throw it out. Come on, just get it over the blue line, Marcheco. Stop. Thank you. That's huge. Empty netter. A large divisional W. And our playoff hopes are still looking all right. I'm not 100% sure how wildcard even works. I think it's top three from each division. And then there's two wildcard spots. Maybe. And that stays in the conference, but not necessarily the division. I don't know. Let's go look at it. Conversation with the coach. What's going on here? What do you want? All right, listen. I'll get straight to the point. We're not making the playoffs. Oh, wait. What? Uh, yeah. I'll try to help you secure a playoff spot. Reach the playoffs. What do I get for it? Nothing. I get literally nothing. Thank you, I guess. Not much of a storyline. Nashville has the same amount of wins, but they have four more overtime losses, which moves them up three spots in the standings. Speaking of the standings, actually, before I forget, edit player, let's change up the Goldie mask. I finally remembered. Oh yeah, there we go. That's the one. This is genuinely our only other option. So I guess we're going with this bucket. Yeah, huh? And that's gonna be our playoff bucket. We are currently fourth. In the division, with three games left, Pittsburgh also has 91 points, but we are beating them in row quite dramatically. So, as long as we can tie them over the next two games, I think we're set. Okay, looking at this, I feel like we're just in, no matter what. So apparently, we can clinch with a win here, so let's jump in and hopefully do just that. Abra, Kadabra, Alakazam? No! Come on, guys. Don't tell me we're out of the playoffs or something. We failed to clinch a playoff spot. We'll have another chance to clinch. Okay, okay. All right. So we're still chilling. We have two games left and Pittsburgh won a game. So they have surpassed us. Come on, guys. Don't do me like this. That's huge. That's huge. We lost to Buffalo, but yes. Oh my word, we're in. That was terrifying. I can't lie. Oh, here's our storyline that has no reward. James, shh, dude, I just talked to you. What? Yeah, we made it. Cool. Way to ruin the moment by making us have a meeting. Not again. Welcome back to the show, everybody. James and James, double whammy. So they finished first in the league. This is gonna be quite the showdown. We ended up fifth in the division. 93 points and still somehow made it in. We were 14th in the league. Let's see what else is going on here. So. The 21st place Seattle Kraken managed to get in. That is an insult. Johnny led our team 75 points in 82 games. Kent had 64, Kempe 63. So we actually kind of started to slump after those trades, which makes no sense, honestly. But here we are. Goaltenders, a 908 for Scott, three shutouts. Joel had two shutties and a 914. Honestly, you should run with him. Philip Ronick did quite well, 42 points in 80 games. Goss Despair stole his other two games. He played 84 this year. It would be Dustin Wolf leading the charge for goaltenders with 42 Ws. And he also had a 900 save percentage flat. So I don't know if he did much of the carrying there, but Jari had 36 and a 282 GAA. Swayman, 35 wins. Well, we know who our Norris winner is. Brandon Montour, and it's not close 87 points the next closest has a nice amount Shea Theodore and then 67 for Kale also plus 49 is that any good the Art Ross winner however is McDavid who played with Montour he was a plus 24 49 goals but 63 from Miko Ranton and he's got to be the Rocky Richard winner yeah, so we made the playoffs, we got a new bucket, and we're gonna look at the Islanders roster at the start of next video. Hopefully I'll remember, I should. So 
We made it somehow, even though we struggled for a bit there. All that matters is that we're in the postseason. Anything can happen now. So thank you guys for watching. I appreciate you. Glad you're still enjoying the series. If you could leave a like, and if you haven't already subscribed, that would be gas. I will see you soon.